A special thanks to EK Waterblocks. Just just watch their entire video. It'll blow your mind, all the new stuff that's coming out. Also, thanks to ASRock, their new motherboards. They're, you know what? They do more than just that. They've got their all-in-ones and everything else, so be sure to watch that entire video. And thanks to Innovex. They've sponsored us to come and check out all the cool, innovative stuff. So be sure to watch all that coverage. The links are in the top of the description. Check out Patriot, guys. They've got some uh, crazy high-speed PCI Express 4 stuff that we're going to try to name. And we're also going to check out all their other products, including another pair of gaming, another gaming headset. I almost said gaming headphones. That surprised me. So let's uh, let's see what Patriot's got to offer here. All right, guys, and, and we're also going to show you uh, maybe a secret weapon. Hey, look, it's another Gen 3 by f Nope, Gen 4 by 4 This is the secret weapon right here. It's not really the secret weapon. They don't have a name for it yet, but they better call it the secret weapon or else I'm going to uh, buy it anyway because it's fast. <laughs> I've got nothing. There, there's the speed on the, on the card, right? 4,800. And the CEO was just in this room behind us, and he told me 5,000 and then slapped somebody on the back and said, you better make this happen. <laughs> so there's so much pressure. But maybe we'll see this with 5,000 with a, with a nice heat sink like this, but you never know. But it's really nice to see the Gen 4 by 4 stuff coming out for people who are content creators and people who need to load 1,000 mods immediately in Skyrim. By the way, all the way up to two terabytes. So 512, one terabyte, two terabytes. That'll be the flavors you can get it in and also grape. Should we steal the steel? This is the paper, Patriot Viper steel and um, no RGB. What? Just no RGB, just gray and like slate gray and black. Up to 4,400, someone has gotten up to 4,800 with this. So this is a really high performance DDR4. They also have a, a SODEM model. So SODEM's there, up to 3,000 on that. And I mean, this could be used for laptops or whatever, um, but it can also be used for like, you know, small form factor PCs and stuff like that. Let me know if any of you guys are actually uh, people who change the memory in your laptops. I'm not sure how many of us there are out there. Also, I want you guys to check this out. No RGB and it's just solid black on black on black on black. Black PCB, black heatsink, all the way around black, black, black. No RGB at all. And this is mainly for the European markets because they like all that just, just sleek minimal black so this is just their standard uh, viper rgb which we've already seen so check this out we have a ginormous desk mat here this is an rgb desk mat looks to be about three or four millimeters thick cool but as you notice it can be like this but it can also change with the music is there something we can do to click on the youtube video or something so we got a youtube video now playing and you're seeing some fluctuations there from the uh, the music it's pulsing along with the music so speaking of music, um, I actually tried these and they don't sound too bad, but they're extremely comfortable. I'll need to try these in like a more private environment. This is the Viper V380 with these huge sort of rectangular cans on the side. Look at that. So these are, you can do them in stereo 7.1. They also have a detachable microphone that's noise canceling. That's sort of a noise canceling effect, but these things are extremely lightweight. And one thing I like about these is these are not just some like OEM that slapped together. They had to do the tooling for these things themselves. They're so lightweight because they're aluminum. And these, so far at the show, have been the most comfortable set of headphones that I've worn. And if you guys were thinking these are not out yet, this uh, this red around the top here, they've decided to make this more professional and sleek. It's going to be all black. So black stitching on the black memory foam with the black ear cans. Look at that squidge. Oh, yes. Good squidge. That's like that's a lot of good squidge. Uh, they did sound pretty good with their simulated 7.1, but uh, of course, you know, I like my headphones to be just two channel but you know it's up to you you can do it however you like in your happy little world so maybe we'll try these out i don't know maybe headphones maybe gaming headsets are getting better ever since we made that video talking about how much we don't like them who knows all right these things just keep getting bigger two terabytes right there and uh, this one has the maxio controller and you guys can see there it's two terabytes but then we have the burst over here which is a little bit different the Fizen controller crazy speed got a dram cache on there as well so two different models for two different applications right there and then let's move on over and take a look at our uh, M.2s. Look out. Thanks, for, thanks very thank you very much. So there we've got the um, crazy top of the line stuff over here with the read on this up to 3,800, I believe. Yep, 3,500, 3,450, there we go, read. And this is gonna be the extreme one with the, the crazy uh, heat sink, but also this one's similar, but just RGB. And then there's the regular Scorch. So this is a 1,700 on the uh, read. And then moving on over here, you've got the 35 or 3450 on the read. So check out this. 
This is really good for content creators. Thunderbolt right there, really sleek, lightweight enclosure. One terabyte and super fast 1600 read, 1000 write. So that's a pretty cool little device. Hey, we got one of those, but wait a second. What's this? This is new for the show. This is the Cloud Alpha S 7.1 channel. All right, so these do not have to be 7.1 channel, but they have a very interesting way of implementing it. And that is with the dongle right here. Now the dongle does not only give you 7.1, but whenever you plug this in, your Windows computer is going to say, oh, this is a 7.1 channel device. There's gonna be no extra fussing or whatever. Also, there's some volume options here where you can actually use this to turn down the, the game but it's a separate option that lets you turn down like the game volume or the music volume or so that you team. or your teammates but it'll if you want to like turn that down so you can better hear your teammates that's all right here on the dongle instead of having to mess around with all kinds of different options inside your OS so that's pretty cool got the braided cable and um, other than that check out the bottom here let me show you this so this looks a little weird right what's going on with these holes so this is actually a vent on the bottom that's allowing air to come out and it'll you know when it's open like this it makes the base more balanced or whatever. But let's say you just want to close off that chamber. Go ahead and close it off. Now you've got base cannons. Beats by HyperX, I don't know. So that's how you're, you know, if you, if you really want extra base, close it off like that. Let a, little, let a little bit out, change the actual chamber dynamics. Go ahead and close it. Uh, last but not least, they've improved the memory foam to make it even softer. So cl the cloud is, yeah, cl cloud is one of the, um, only gaming headsets that I actually like, removable microphone, because they, they really are like a pair of headphones with the microphone that you can attach. They don't actually always sound as cheesy as a lot of gaming headphones out there on the market or gaming headsets. So I'll be really curious to play with the Cloud Alpha S's. I'm not wild about you know 7.1, but having the option here just by changing to a dongle is a pretty cool idea. One thing about the dongles, when you plug in the dongle, it makes this USB so you're no longer um, worrying about you know, if you have bad inputs on the front of your computer or something, you can just use the USB. So I'll have to check one of these out. Right, one other thing to note about the Alpha, uh, Alpha S right here, planar magnetic, guys. These are not regular cone speakers, not paper cones or anything like that. Planar magnetic, these are 100 millimeter drivers. They're like a sheet that vibrates on the inside. They're giving you really crisp, accurate sound. And this is the first headset that they're going to make uh, like this. So uh, stay tuned for this one when it's available. And then over here, just a shot of this, just, just because. Look at all that HyperX memory. This is the Orbit S. As you change your head, the sound, it, it stays natural like in the center. So you can move, move around and it's more of a, like a VR type experience with the Orbit S. Is that a HyperX charging station? Is, are those HyperX Joy-Cons? No, it's not. Just regular Joy. Just, just charging. Charge. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Hey, another cherry. No, this is a HyperX mechanical keyboard with HyperX mechanical switches with brighter LEDs. See back there and then see up here. So the LEDs are on the top. They're not in the center, but as you can see here, they've aligned the fonts across the top to make sure everything's nice and bright. And uh, these are rated at 80 million clicks versus the typical 50 million clicks you see on most. Also, they're really smooth and fast. These are linear switches like the Reds. They're gonna be developing more, but they have the linear switches out first for all you gamers. Typists, you gotta wait for the browns and the blues and the other equivalents, but those will be out soon, they say. Now, these actuate at 1.8 millimeters of travel distance, and they bottom out at 3.8, as opposed to normally they'll actuate around two millimeters and bottom out at, you know, 3.84 millimeters, something like that. So these are going to be faster actuating and uh, last longer so pretty fancy right there also one thing i want to know can you show me how thin that is this is extremely thin and we have aluminum on the top and the bottom you mind picking that up for me show you how that how thin that is right there check that out and then of course we have our little um, feet on the top there so you can you know raise it up and raise it down there you go get your two feet different two different feet levels. yeah two different levels of on the feet all right let's look at these pudding for all you fat finger sweaty fellas so these are called pudding switches, but they're double shot PBT. And they have a coating on there that helps against moisture. So that's mainly what we have. We've got the kale silver switches on here. If you're someone who slips around and you get mad and you throw your keyboard across the room, maybe these pudding switches will help you. Don't stop rubbing deodorant on your hands. It's not good for you.